Congratulations, somebody has just copied you. Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing TV, where we try to help you help other people by taking your great innovation, the right opportunity, mixing that with sound wisdom so you can turn them into real things like products and businesses that make money. Now, I've got a question for some of you all out there, and this won't apply to everybody. So you need to kind of take this in perspective, but uh, did someone out there see your successful product? Did you have a successful idea for a product or a business? And it was successful in the marketplace? And did you see, did someone see that successful product and decided that they'd copy you? Well, congratulations. Uh, you've, you've made it. You, you have been successful. Now, you might be horrified to hear this. You might say, well, Don, what do you mean? That's the worst thing that could possibly ever happen. No, the worst thing that can possibly ever happen is that you never get it off the ground, and it never becomes anything. And someone else with an original idea comes out something with something else, and, and they're successful with it. That's the worst thing that can happen. Now, I was reminded of this recently. When I had a very successful idea, a uh, recent idea, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I had it copied right down to the similar graphics. Uh, now, at first I was mad. We all get mad at the beginning. Or thinking, we're, we all get incensed. But a good friend reminded me of this truth, of the fact that, and, and by the way, I have to give Stephen Key credit. He came up with the idea of saying, congratulations, you've been knocked, you know, somebody's copied your idea. Uh, uh, and which, which I think is great. I've always kind of, I've, I've kind of knew that, thought that, kind of forgotten that a little at this point where somebody had copied me re, re, uh, recently. And, and we always do kind of uh, tend to forget, don't we? Uh, we, we sort of uh, think, oh, we think of it happening to somebody else, we don't think about it happening to us. Well, it happened to me recently. Uh, and this isn't the first time this has happened to me. I've walked onto trade show floors only to see someone else trying to copy my product right down to the literature where they've taken the pictures and the, and the words and the literature and they've just kind of re rearranged them a little bit and moved them around. And by the way, I've never had a product copied that was not first successfully in the marketplace. And this is a special message to all of you out there that maybe you've not got it off the ground, maybe you don't have those successful inventor problems yet, and you're so scared that that's going to happen, something that hasn't happened yet, that you never do anything. Oh, I need to just, I need to hide this. Somebody's going to steal it. Somebody's going to steal it. No, that's the worst thing that can happen. Not somebody stealing your idea. Not somebody trying to copy you. The worst thing that can happen to you is for you to never get your idea off the ground. And that's what I see happening more because people are afraid somebody's going to copy me, so I just need to kind of hide all it. No, no, that's not the way it works, and that is not the worst thing that's going to happen to you. Now, like I said, this isn't the first time this has happened. I have had it happen. Now, I, I remember seeing this literature that almost looked like mine, almost, just changed enough to avoid litigation, I, and chuckling to myself. And it was a big multinational company that obviously did not have the, uh, the competence to be original. They didn't have... They, they, weren't, they weren't able to be original. They weren't able to come up with something new, so they just had to copy me. Now, you can get mad when this happens to you. You can try and fight it, but you really need to look at it differently. And this is very important. This is the very important part of this, of, of this talk today. Because you could fight uh, somebody copying you uh, like the inventor of the intermittent windshield wiper did. And, and, and for the rest of his life, all he did was just fight this. Or you could go across the street and invent the next intermittent something else, take your money, move along, 
and 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 do something different. Do something. Stay and get one step ahead. I want to talk about that in a minute too. Now, if you've seen the movie, it's called Flash of Genius. We've uh, we've done it a few times at Inventor Entrepreneur Night at the movies, which is one of our our movie nights we do at kyinventors.org. Uh, it, and it's it's really a sad story. You know, usually we try to do uh, movies about inventors and entrepreneurs and their sort of success stories. You know, they're 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 kind of you know they're they're hitting against the the brick walls and they're breaking through and they're making it. And and we and we try to focus on the lessons of why that happens and how that happens. But this one was kind of a sad story, really. And and he spent his whole life. And nothing. They offered him money, and, and it, was it a raw deal? Yeah. Did they steal his idea? Yeah. Was that a bad thing? Yeah. But the biggest thing that that the biggest waste I saw was the fact that he took took his whole life. Now that was the movie, and maybe real life was a little different. I don't know. Uh, but uh, but what I want to tell you is don't do that. You you need to be smart. You need to do the smart, strategic things to protect yourself. Not fighting at the expense uh, of successfully marketing, selling, uh, uh, or, or becoming successful with your idea. Because that's what will happen. I see it. They get people get people see these stories. Oh, so and so got copied. Did you see him? Oh, he he did really well on Kickstarter. And did you and, and did you see what happened to her? Did you see what happened to him? Oh, that guy was really, he was really uh, took off on Amazon. He was real successful. Everybody loved it. And look, look, there so there somebody went and copied him. Isn't that a horrible thing? No, the horrible thing is if he wasn't successful at all. It's not good that that happened, but. You have to look at it in the right light. You really do. This is not a time to get furious. It's a time to get smart and strategic. One of the best fighters I have seen of inventors that have successfully uh, been successful with their ideas and then got knocked off is just staying one step ahead of, of those fast followers. With something else, by using your superpower, your ability to innovate. Now, I remember I added this product. It was called Formaldehyde Neutralizing Dry Mats. And I, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds on this, but it was this, this mat, this, this thing that you'd lay down. And, and people that work with formaldehyde, they didn't want to get exposed to it. So they, they'd work on it on our mats, and it would absorb and neutralize the formaldehyde that they were coming into contact to. And I saw these big companies come out, and they'd come out with something, and it really didn't work. And then they had the bright idea of, of lining it with plastic, because that's going to be better. And the formaldehyde just kind of sat there, and it was actually worse. They got more exposure. And then they decided, oh, we'll solve that. We'll poke holes in the plastic. And that didn't work either. And I, again, I'm, I'm watching them try to copy me, and I'm chuckling because we were staying one step ahead because we had the creativity. And by the way, they wouldn't be doing that, trying to copy you, if they didn't have your creativity. So if they didn't, if they had your creativity, if they had your ability to innovate, they would not be trying to copy you. Take that home and remember that and stay with that as you move forward with your idea, with your uh, product, with your business, with your startup. Now if you want to know more about being smart and strategic about protecting your, uh, your idea, then you want to check out Empowered Inventing's uh, an online course called Protecting What's Valuable. Uh, about about your intellectual property and that's at empoweredinventing.com check that out i hope this is helpful for you i'm don skaggs this is empowered inventing tv like and subscribe help us to build our tribe and i'll look to see you at the next meeting workshop maybe one of our online courses or on the next video